this dilute KOH can do nothing to this benzaldehyde because this benzaldehyde does not have any acidic hydrogen. Fine. So there will be no reaction if we increase the concentration of this KOH and we make it conch KOH. Then conch KOH can do something else. What it can do is now this C double bond O is polar bond. Oxygen has del negative charge, carbon has del positive charge. This del positive charge asks for electron. Now there are two kind of electron rich species as I have told you before. One is called base, the other is called nucleophile. Base abstracts hydrogen and nucleophile goes and attack atoms which are electron deficient. This is the basic difference. And that atom has to be other than hydrogen. If that atom is hydrogen, then the electron rich species becomes base. Anyone dealing with hydrogen, that's a base. Anyone dealing with atoms other than hydrogen, that's a nucleophile. Now, dilute KOH is not a nucleophile. It cannot come and attack this C double bond O because dilute KOH has less nucleophilicity. It is a stable thing. So it goes and abstract hydrogen. C double bond O is a stable bond. When it breaks, energy has to be given. Right? So if an unstable thing, suppose you have CH3 minus, this can easily come and attack C double bond O. Because if C double bond O breaks, then the unstability of this C minus also goes away. So if you are breaking something stable, you are also mitigating the unstability of this substance, of this intermediate. So that is balanced. Now O minus, OH minus is already stable. If you, this goes and breaks C double bond O, then not great amount of stability will be achieved because this thing was already stable. But you are breaking C double bond O, that means energy has to be given and a stable thing is broken. So that is thermodynamically not permissible. So when you have a stable species like this, they cannot go and attack C double bond O just like that. But an unstable thing like methyl anion can do that, as Grignard reagent does, right? So a dilute KOH cannot go and attack C double bond O because it's a base. It is not a nucleophile, right? And the greater discussion we had when we studied the difference between base and nucleophile. But for time being, and just to stick to the conclusion of the discussion we had before, dilute KOH is a base. It's not a nucleophile. So it cannot go and attack C double bond O. It can only abstract H plus. This compound do not have active hydrogen. So dilute KOH can do nothing to benzaldehyde. Now conch KOH does acts as a nucleophile because when the concentration of OH minus, there is huge number of OH minus. And when there's a huge number of OH minus, then the charge density in the system is very high. Now there is a great need for that charge density to be reduced. So with that great need, the OH minus to go and put its electron somewhere, that becomes more important and urgent. So because of that urgency, that OH minus can go and attack C double bond O now. Because outside the benzaldehyde into the system, there's a huge charge density. So when you increase the concentration, then the charge density in the system increases. And then now OH minus can act as a nucleophile. Fine. So, conch minus is a nucleophile. So now, even if it doesn't have any hydrogen to be abstracted, it can go and attack C double bond O. So now, there can be some reaction. Okay? Okay. So what that reaction would be? This OH minus will come and attack C double bond O. So what do you get now? When this attacks, then this bond from the front the electron in that bond will go into the orbital of oxygen. So this becomes O minus. This becomes OH. And you have a hydrogen like this. Fine. Now system has concentrated KOH. There is huge amount of OH minus present. So other OH minus what they will do is they will abstract this hydrogen. And this will result in an unstable tetrahedral intermediate like this. Now this is an extraordinary situation. Generally, we don't have two negative charges on a small molecule like this. Charge comes one by one. When one negative charge is there, generally the 
second negative charge do not develop because in this case charge density is very high and on a small molecule you cannot have two unit of plus charge or two unit of negative charge charge generally if you if you if you see in all the reaction that we have studied we have not brought two unit of charge on the same molecule simultaneously we already always had if if we had two reactive sites we had reaction on one completed the reaction there and then went to next Generally, generally on a small molecule, you don't have two unit of negative charge. Now, this tetrahedral is an uh, intermediate, is a unstable intermediate, and there is a there is there is a pressure of this O minus from both the sides on this carbon. There's an orbital of carbon and an orbital of oxygen, and this negative charge is being diffused into the orbital of carbon from both the sides, as if these two O minus are pressing this carbon from both the sides. Now, because of this huge pressure, this carbon has to do something to get rid of this negative charge. Now, this carbon, this negative charge can be dispensed only if this carbon develops a positive charge. And this C plus and then this O minus will form a bond among themselves. That is the idea. Now, if carbon has to gain a plus charge, then a group has to move out. Either this pH has to go out or this H has to go out. When they go out, if they take their electrons along themselves, then this carbon will develop a plus charge, as we have seen in numerous cases before. If the grip moves, leaves out, moves out, taking away the electron of itself and of the carbon as well, then the carbon will develop a plus charge. When carbon develops that plus charge, that C plus and O minus can form a bond. Fine. Now, H minus hydrogen by no way is a leaving group. Hydrogen is a small atom. Now, the it has at elect least electronegativity value among all atoms we are dealing with. The size is the smallest possible. Charge density is highest possible. This is an unstable anion. This is not a stable ion and by no way it's a leaving group. But the situation here is so extraordinary. The concentration is very high. It's more than 50%. So the OH- minus is now acting as a nucleophile. Now you have this highly unstable intermediate. Now you have to get rid of these two negative charge in any situation. By, 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 by hook or by crook. Then in this circumstance, you have to remove hydride ion. There is no other option available. Generally, leaving group is a stable one. Stable anions acts as a leaving group and we have never ever before used or had H- as the leaving group in any of the reaction. So this is not an exception. This is the demand of the situation. This H- have to go out. Then only these two negative charges will decrease the pressure on this carbon. This is the demand of the situation. So H- will move out. There's an option of other group also to move out, but that pH- is more unstable than H-. And plus the mobility of this H- is high because of small size. So this H- when it comes out, it can quickly go and attack somewhere. And that mobility is not with this pH-. minus. Plus, if you look at the structure of pH-, minus, you have this vinyl ring and this is there is an electronic density above and below the plane of the ring. And when you have a negative charge like this, that means when you have an orbital, and that has electronic density. Then there's a repulsion between this electronic cloud and this electronic cloud. So pH minus is not a stable anion. And plus the mobility of pH minus is less. So pH minus don't go out, H minus goes out.